Hi, Impact. How are you? We are going to be starting a new teaching series this week as we move through Lent. And Lent is a time when we prepare our hearts and prepare ourselves for Easter. And we remember those 40 days that Jesus spent in the wilderness um, before he went to the cross and before he rose again. And we will talk about that a bit more later on in the term. So we are going to start a new series on the story of Joseph, which is found in the book of Genesis. Now, you probably know the story of Joseph and his amazing Technicolor dream coat or Joseph in his coat, you probably know lots of different versions of the story. But I'm not going to talk to you about the story today. There's videos for you to watch um, of the story if you would like to. And there is also a Bible study notes, which I have sent out to your parents. Um, today, we're just going to go through a little bit. I thought it'd be important to talk about the history behind the story of Joseph and his family tree, because there's quite a lot that happens in that. And it's quite good to help us to understand um, what happens in the story and the history behind the story. So I'm going to take you on a really brief whistle stop tour of the history of Joseph's family. There is a video below from, um, I think it's called the Bible Society or the Bible, which tells you the history of Genesis as well. The history of Genesis part two, which would be a really good one for you to watch. So we're going to be. So we're going to be looking at this story of Joseph. So you can see from this family tree here that there's quite a lot of uh, different people involved. So Joseph had a younger brother called Benjamin and their mother was called Rachel. And he also had some other brothers from um, different mothers in those days. It was quite normal for a man to have more than one wife. And he had one sister called Dinah, and the rest you can see are um, brothers. And then, so Joseph's dad was called Jacob, and Jacob's dad was Isaac, so Joseph's granddad. And then Joseph's great-grandfather was Abraham. This is Joseph and his father Jacob, and the story of his special coat. Now, Abraham was um, wanted to have children, and he was married to a lady called Sarah, and God told him that he would be the father of many nations. But Abraham and Sarah were quite old. Sarah was beyond earthly childbearing age, and they got quite impatient. So Abraham slept with their servant girl called Hagar, and Hagar had a baby. She had a baby boy called Ishmael. And then following that, eventually Sarah did have a baby in way, um, she was beyond earthly childbearing age, what we would consider to be a normal age for a woman to have a baby, but they had a baby and their baby was Isaac. And you can see they were very pleased. Now you might remember the story where um, God tells Abraham to take Isaac up on the mountain and to sacrifice him, and then he stops him right at the very last minute. And I just think, can you imagine how you've been waiting for years and years for this baby, and then God tells you, go and sacrifice him to me, go and kill him to give to me. But that didn't happen because God stopped him, but Abraham had full trust in God. Now, once Isaac was grown up, Isaac married a woman called Rebecca. And Rebecca had twins. She had two baby boys, one called Jacob and one called Esau. And we know that Esau was quite hairy and Jacob was not. And you can see that in this picture. So when they grow up, grew up, Rebecca had a favourite son. So this might be where we learn about Jacob's favour towards um, Joseph. And Rebecca favoured Jacob over Esau. But because Esau was the oldest child, Esau should have got the birthright, should have got like the blessing, the inheritance from Isaac. So when um, Isaac was very old, he was blind. And Rebecca came up with a plan for Jacob to steal um, his brother's birthright. You might know this story. If not, you can look it up. And Jacob um, used 
goat's hair and he wrapped it around his arms to make him feel like Esau, feel hairy. And because of that, Jacob gave, sorry, Isaac gave Jacob his brother's birthright, his blessing, which obviously made um, Esau very angry and he wanted to kill Jacob. So Jacob had to run away. And then many years later, um, Jacob met these two women. Now, Leah and Rachel were sisters. Leah was the older sister, but Jacob was in love with Rachel and Jacob wanted to marry Rachel. And it was customary in those days that you had to um, <coughs> marry the older sibling first. The oldest daughter had to be married first. So um, Jacob worked for seven years to then be allowed to marry Leah. And he married Leah and he had lots of children with Leah, as we can see in the family tree. But for him, in order for him to then marry Rachel, he had to work for another seven years to get the blessing to marry Rachel. So Jacob waited 14 years to be able to marry this woman that he really loved. And then we know that Rachel gave birth to Joseph and then his younger brother, Benjamin. And Benjamin, um, once Benjamin was born, Rachel died in childbirth, so Jacob was obviously very sad. And that's kind of where we are at the story, at the beginning of the story of Joseph. Joseph had all these brothers that he um, that really hated him and despised him. He had 11 brothers and a sister, and um, his mother had died, but he, there were lots of other women around him. So that is the history, a very brief history. I'm sure the video tells it much better than I do. But I just want to finish with this quote that I found. And it says, and I found this in many places, and it's by a theologian called Boyce, and he's American, I think. He was loved and hated, favoured and abused, tempted and trusted, exalted and abased. Yet at no point in the 110-year life of Joseph did he ever seem to get his eyes off God or cease to trust him? Adversity did not harden his character. Prosperity did not ruin him. He was the same in private as in public. He was a truly great man. And I think that quote really sums up um, Joseph and his character and some of the things that we're going to be learning in this series. So I pray that you find this finds you well, and I pray that you really enjoy um, looking at this story once again. I'm going to pray for you. And I'm going to pray that God will really speak to you during this these next few weeks as we study the story of Joseph. Father God, thank you for our um, young people, for our impact group, and for any of the others that may be watching this video. Father, I want to pray that you will speak to them um, in the next few weeks. Thank you for this story of Joseph. Thank you for the man of Joseph and for what we can learn from him in this book. Thank you that even though this story happened thousands and thousands of years ago, there's still so much that we can learn um, from him. And Father, thank you for Joseph's family. Thank you that even though his family was complicated and messy, as a lot of families are, you still love them and you still care for them. And thank you that you still love us and care for us. God, I really pray that you will speak and grow our young people during the next few weeks as we prepare ourselves for Easter. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And I hope to catch up with you guys soon. I pray that you really do enjoy this series. Bye-bye.